Hey YouTube, Brad C here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a Black Friday special that I got. And that is this Red Dot Scope. It's even called the Red Dot Scope. Now, I want to start off by saying that I do not recommend anyone gets one of these cheap little Red Dots. Especially if you're looking for something to put on like an AR platform. Uh, anything less than, than this right here. This is the minimum you want to go. And it is a great choice, and that is the Bushnell TRS-25. I have this on all of my AR platforms. You can get these for under $100. I've even seen Black Friday specials for like $63 on these. So, you know, if you see an AR of mine, it's probably got one of these on it. I mean, unless you can afford an aim point or something like that, which I cannot, uh, this is what I highly recommend. Now this... I found on a Slick Guns deal, and I'll put a link to it. Hey, anybody's welcome to uh, to try it out. But it was normally thirty-three dollars, and then this Black Friday special knocks off ten, and that makes the Amazon price of twenty-three dollars for a Red Dot scope. Now, let's see what this beast looks like. Now, it comes in a really nice box, actually, but. A lot of times they try to make the box look nice and uh, well done. Obviously not expecting much, but for 23 bucks, we're going to give it a shot. I've actually got a uh, Henry um, AR7 coming in the mail, and I don't plan on putting any kind of optics on it at all. It's a little survival gun, but I would like to see if something like this could be flipped on it, but I don't know. Let's take a look here how it came. Oh my, this thing's massive. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work on my Henry. Okay, just to give you a little little size comparison here, this is the uh, one of my TRS 25s that I'm gonna gonna get out here. <laughs> I, I had no idea this thing was gonna be this big. Look at this. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is what I was hoping this was gonna be. Um, here's the brand. It's a Piney. Wow. I don't even know what to do with this thing now. But, uh, oh well, we'll continue with the review, but uh, like I say, I was hoping it was like uh, this size. I guess I probably should have looked at the specs on it, but I was just, I saw $23. I'm like, ooh, red dot scope, $23, I can put that on anything. Yeah, sure. It's a great big thing. My goodness. I don't know what I'll put that on. Let's take a look at it here from all sides. Great big piney, whatever that means. Here's our red dot. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's actually got the uh, you know, flips up, and holds on its own. I guess I'm trying to find some reason to really like this. Uh, all right, let's see. Like the bottom here, fits onto a picatinny rail. No surprise there. Okay, just want to get a shot of everything that comes with it. Of course, you have your regular red dot that we've already taken a look at. Big massive thing here. Then we have a cleaning cloth and a battery, Allen wrench, and our instructions. Red and green dot scope instructions. Let's give you a shot of the specs there that came on the box. Okay, here is where the battery is. And there's a little handy little thing where you can open it up. And here is the battery. And if you're like me, this won't last long because you'll leave it running. That's the brightest green dot. Here's the next one. We're just keep turning it down. Down. And there's off. And let's go to the red. Doesn't look like red. Well, oh, I know what it is. The red's not showing up on this red uh, carpet here but believe me it is red there you can see the light red and there's off okay let's get a shot of how this thing looks on my Ruger 1022 and it looks massive but <laughs> it is what it is okay just wanted to give you a little bit of a shot of uh, how it would look in a profile here getting ready to shoot it Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I'll tell you what, the uh, 
the green dot looks nice everything seems to work good of course obviously now the, the big test is taking it to the range and actually seeing if uh, if it'll hit a target and then if it'll if it'll hold steady but um, 122 hopefully it will and again it's, it's a little big but hey for the price point can't really argue with it okay uh, this is the unboxing I don't think I'll have time for a rain shoot. I'm going to try to get this up before uh, you know Black Friday specials are over with. Just in case anybody wants to see this video, I will. If I get a rain shoot done, I'll obviously post a video of it. But um, again, you know, it is what it is. It's uh, it's made in China. It's twenty three dollars shipped. By the way, you get a special code through Amazon. Make sure that uh, there's hoops you got to jump through. Of course, as always, you have to have. $49 worth of stuff in your cart to qualify for free shipping which I order our dog food through there so that's not a problem but you also have to make sure you put in that code that you get through Amazon if you do that it will knock off $10 it will be free shipping so that's $23 shipped and that's not bad for a red dot scope. I'm going to get a shot of the uh, TRS-25 my go-to red dot uh, so everybody can see just how low profile and how much nicer it looks. I mean, again, uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't need that massive cannon on top of uh, of my gun. But you know, like I say, twenty three bucks. But you, know, you can get this for about sixty three dollars right now through Black Friday deals. Even without them, though, you're looking at seventy seven bucks. So it, it, is an extra fifty bucks worth it? I really think it is. So this is probably a bad buy for me. I'm still going to try this thing out. We'll, we'll see. Maybe it'll, it'll hold and uh, maybe I'll find a, just the perfect platform for it. But uh, yeah, I just wish I had a whole bag of these TRS-25s. Right now I've got one on all my AR platforms, but uh, I may eventually just put one on every single gun I've got that I, I want a red dot on. So start saving up a little bit.